when I'm painting a dome, which is not that often to be honest, uh, and yet you're basically painting um, hundreds and hundreds of bits of wood, I like to set them out like this um, and just paint the whole lot, one coat. This, uh, this is before I do any machining, uh, this is going to be cut down the centre, but the centre piece that's cut with no paint on it is joined to the next triangle so it doesn't need painting. Uh, so I prefer to paint at least one coat now before I um, even start machining uh, because I've tried painting triangles one at a time and uh, it's horrible. Not only do you have to paint, you can paint all one side first and then all the other side, all the next sides, um, but it's where do you stack them. Now this I can paint one quarter, uh, paint the whole lot, and then just leave it for a day or two. So it's not in the way, um, it doesn't cause a problem, You're not, I'm not moving it. Uh, and then all I do is I roll it, roll it over one and paint the next side. Uh, this, this whole painting of this greenhouse will have taken me, maybe in painting time, just uh, a couple of hours. Uh, but drying time it's all weekly right uh, that's this is all of the timber uh, not including door frames and bits and bobs um, so that's got had one coat on on each side um, and I'll probably let that dry go, go off dry for a couple of days uh, before I start machine if you don't let it go off dry properly uh, it gets on your t on your machines and that there uh, bits of wet paint where it's running that. Um, this is the paint I'm using. It's uh, it's a good outdoor paint, SX70, um, and I've used hmm, more than half of it. Uh, get yeah some idea of costs. The tim all the timber to build this dome is about 140 pound. Uh, the paint was 70 quid for this tin. So it's half the price of the wood, the paint. That's why I normally don't paint things very much. Uh, but this one I thought would be nice if it was painted. It's me own and it'll look tidy. So I, I think it's worth it. I'll let that lot dry. Uh, and while that's drying, because that's going to be two days now, I'll show you the uh, hows and whys of the dome design. Um, we'll drop onto the computer in the warm and uh, I'll show you about that now. I do keep calling this a dome, um, it, um, some people might think it's not a dome but and more of a pyramid but uh, I, I use the term dome loosely to mean any triangulated um, structure so it doesn't really matter if it's uh, pointy, I'll still call it a dome. Um, right, uh, the reason I designed this, um, this one was because with domes as you go bigger um you uh have to have a more bigger variety of uh triangle panels um so you end up with lots of different tr sized uh triangle panels and and this designs an attempt to um make the minimum number of panels now you can build domes this way um and what I'll do is I'll um upload another video showing the method for producing these but I'll just show you basically what this design can do here now right that's that's my uh, dome scaled little person standing there it's quite small uh, it's all the space I've got so that's basically um, made from uh, equilateral triangles there is no other uh, shape in there just equilateral triangles now it, it's not a difficult process to um, extend it and make it a bit longer like that uh, so you still have equilateral triangles no problem um, but it's bigger so you can scale it up without the need for building more triangles uh, you can also um, join it uh, together a bit you can um, you know make a uh, L shape um, again it only has equilateral triangles nothing else uh, then it can get really complicated and you can build it's it's a bit like Lego or um, 
Minecraft or something like that where it's based on a square grid and you, you simply increase the shape or size any way you want within a square base grid and, and it'll work the same. Uh, here we have two of the simpler ones and I'll just show you for example it that it fits together pretty much um, any way you want. For example if you grab any anywhere and move that that will fit onto there so you could have a little it's a little tiny joint it'll also fit onto there so you'll have a, a, a bigger joint you can and it'll all so there's all these lines like are, are um, able to join onto see that one there is the L but it's got a little kick at the corner and let's do another one um, do that there, lock that under there, and now we've made an X. So the, the the this design you can basically make a whole ton of different shaped uh, buildings with it. I'm just using the basic concept to make a simple um, structure like this first. What I'll do is I'm going to build this, um, test it out, see how it goes together, because obviously this line here. Uh, all of these are 180 degrees, so they're all square because they're all flat. But this line here, we're going to need a di uh, dihedral angle of some sort on there. And we'll also need an angle on the base. So something has to be angled just to allow for these to join together. And what I'll do is, on the on the basic dome that I'm building, I'll work that out um, and fine-tune it. And then from there on, I can start to build you know, uh, bigger structures. Um, and you know more complicated structures like that